yes you're welcome once again to the second part of this tutorial if you're just joining us you are welcome so in the last video in the part one of the video we developed a sketch the sketch from this building i will mention that in this video i'll be teaching you how to calculate the square meter of your roof before we get started make sure you like this video and you subscribe so we can get enough visibility so without further ado let's start so the first thing we want to do is to look at all the possible shapes we have here so we have a triangle here we have a parallelogram here we have a triangle here we have a rectangle here we have a rectangle here so i'm just going to try to make it very simple okay so let me sketch something so you have an understanding of how i do my calculation all right so just i want you to see this building as one entity one entity in the sense that let me just do a sketch here so understand okay see it as one entity see that's one entity yeah but this is the main body of the roof so this sit out see this sit out as as sit as a, a cake so to say it's like cutting out a cake from a full cake so let's assume we are cutting this out so in a nutshell this this particular sit out if you push it back in you get a whole figure like this so why am i explaining this i'm explaining this because i want you to see that this triangle is same thing with this triangle while this parallelogram is the same thing with this parallelogram so the only extra calculation we'll be doing is by the time you cut it out you don't have to bother about this surface that is being cut out you just need to worry about these two shapes here this rectangle and this rectangle so in a nutshell we are only calculating for the surface area of this triangle whatever we get we multiply it by two since these and these are the same we calculate for the surface area of this parallelogram whatever you get we multiply it by two since these and these are the same so the only extra addition you want to addition, additional calculation you want to do is this rectangle here this is always equals to this so i use the word always okay for the sake of this building this is equals to this so when you calculate for this you just multiply it by two so let's dive straight into our calculations so now the first thing we want to do is check for the area of this triangle is the area of this triangle so the area of a triangle says the base which is this multiplied by the height which is this slanting height times 0 0.5 so that's the base times height times 0 0.5 so that's 10 times 6.9 multiplied by 0 0.5 you have 34.5 square meter so i mentioned here that the mirror side which is this side when i say mirror so the mirror side is 34.5 that means this is equal to this so now we have square meter of this and square meter of this so the next thing we want to check now is the area of a parallelogram which is this side area of a parallelogram says this long side plus this short length when you have it then you multiply it by the height as the distance between the long and the short then multiply by 0 0.5 Practically, we are saying the base plus the top ridge times height times 0 0.5. That's 20 plus 11.1. .1. Bracket, put it in bracket, then you multiply it by 6.9, multiply it by 0 0.5. You have 107.3 square meter. So, square meter or meter square is the unit of area. And like I mentioned, here is, equal, is the mirror side of this. So, whatever you have here is what you have here. So yeah literally so yeah plus yeah equals to yeah 
So what I'm trying to say in a nutshell is whatever you have it, you multiply it by two. So we have the mirror side to be 107.3. So now we have the area of this place. We have the area of this place and this place already. So what's left is this place and this place. You're going to be seeing this place as a rectangle. It is a rectangle. Check it on the main building. It's a rectangle. So you multiply this. This is length and breadth. So you come to the area of a rectangle that says length times breadth. So that's 5 times 3. That's 15 square meter. So whatever you have here, you have here, which is 15 square meter. So what we want to do next is just to add all of our areas together. Then we come up with 314 square meters. So that is that's the total square meter we have. Whenever we are coating for roofing sheets, because we do have off cuts, you know, when you are laying your roofing tiles, when you get to the extreme end, you trim it off, you know, so that it can lay with these ridges before you place your ridge cap to have a neat output. So those off cuts, we consider them in, in calculations. Sometimes you may be needing up to 10% of your square meter, but bulk of the time when you don't have a complicated building, when you don't have too many gutters, these are gutters. 5% is just enough to complete your building, your roof. So I consider 5% off cuts. So that's 0 0.05. That's 5% is 5 over 100. Whatever you have, you're going to be having 0 0.05. Then you multiply it by the total square meter you're getting here, which is 15.7. So whatever you have here, you add it to the original square meter. So that's approximately. 330 square meter so that's the square meter needed to cover this building so because in nigeria obviously two sheets we sell two sheets as a square meter so when you have a 330 square meter calculation you want to multiply it by two to give you the total pieces of roofing sheet you need thanks for watching in the next video i'll be showing you how to calculate the square meter of your roof without having to go through all this calculation so i'll see you in the next video